Support for Israel continues to decline among younger evangelicals. The number of young evangelicals in the United States who support Israel and view it as crucial to end times is declining as they move towards amillennial and postmillennial eschatology. This is according to a recent study. Now, what is that? Amillennialism is a viewing Christian eschatology that denies an earthly millennium of universal righteousness and peace. So no thousand years coming. It holds that Christ is presently reigning through the church and that the thousand years mentioned in Revelation 20 verse 1 to 6 is a metaphorical reference to the present church age. A millennialism expects Christ's return to mark the end of the church age and the beginning of the eternal state. So this is Christ reigning through the church instead of a thousand years. Misunderstanding and not rightly dividing the word of God. That leaves you with post-millennialism. That gathers the younger adherents because of its emphasis on social justice and improvement of the human condition. They think that they can improve things through social activism. They believe a thousand years simply means a long period of time. Furthermore, the prefix post in postmillennialism denotes the view that Christ will return after Christians, not Christ, have established the kingdom on this earth. Dude, if we're waiting for us to get it right without Christ, we ain't never going nowhere and nothing's ever going to get fixed because we can't do it. That's why Christ does it. Those who hold to post-millennialism believe that this world will become better and better. All evidence, though, currently to the contrary, with the entire world becoming Christianized. After that happens, Christ will return. Crazy much? Confused much? The only version that works, that is consistent with the word of God, is pre-tribulation rapture, a millennial reign after the seven years of a thousand years, Christ reigning on earth with us. That is all in the Bible, very, very clearly. When you try and twist scripture to make it work, you end up with things like this. People thinking the world's going to get better and better, and we're going to take it back from the new world order. We're going to change everything, and everyone's going to become Christians, the entire planet. Have you looked outside yet today? Read the Bible. Read the signs. Look at what it says and understand what's happening. Pray for Israel. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Shalom.